Hello. It may be you're new to CryEngine, as I'm fairly new, and you're still experimenting and still learning about things. And one of the things that you want to create is animations in CryEngine. And maybe like me, you can't afford Maya. So you use Blender. And in order to get the animation that you create in Blender through to CryEngine, you need to use this CryBlend add-on. So if you go to this link up here, it actually explains what you need to do to install the add-on. It's the CryBlend add-on. Now, I have spent a few days trying to work out how to do this. And one of the things I discovered is I need to use the latest version of CryBlend. And to get that, I go into forums. I'll go to CryEngine 3 Asset Creation. I'm going to ignore the CryBlend updates, but I'm going to go into this post here, CryBlend. If I go into there and I go near to the end of that post, I should find the latest version of CryBlend to use. When I run it, I need to run it as administrator. And then what that does is we go into Blender. And I'll just right click up here. It creates this option here, which is CryBlend. And the CryBlend allows us to export our animations to our game. So let's create a little simple animation, just see how it works. I'll just, just make it nice and short. I'll just do an animation record here. So I'm just going to move this. Just create a simple animation. I'm just going to play that. Uh, the two things I also want to do to that is I just want to make sure I've got a UV map and I'm going to stick some materials on there. I'm going to go to CryBlend and I'm going to add a Cry Export node and I'm going to call it, that's what should we call it, Cube 1. And if you watch up here, you'll actually see this just move along here in a minute. There we go. So it's done that. If I click on this now, I'm now going to export that to the game. created a folder in my CryEngine documents under the game and levels and I've just called it Blender Animation. So we'll just call that Q1. And what I need to do is that instead of actually exporting the cube, I need to export the animation file and I need to run the resource compiler. So I'm going to export that to the game. So if I look in Blender Animations, I've now got a CGA animation file and I've got this DAE file. So this is on the game levels Blender Animations. So I'll come out of there. I'll go to CryEngine and hopefully now that this animation that I've now posted to CryEngine should be there. So I'll just log in. Uh, let's create a new level. Let's call it
let's just get rid of the water. Now, if we go to Geom Entity over here, we go to Levels. There's the folder I created, Blender Animations. And there's my cube, which I'll add here. I'm just going to expand that. I'll scale it up. I'm going to try and scale it up. That's better. Now if I go into game, nothing as such is going to happen yet. So what I need to do is actually animate this. So I'll select that. Select my object. I'll just check it's a, the animation file. Yeah, CGA. Excellent. And if I scroll down, I can now create a photograph, which we'll call a right click. I'll add an animation node. An animation node I'll add is play animation. The entity I will use is that one I've selected, so I'll right click here and assign the selected entity. And the animation I'm going to do is to expand this. going to add a start node now when I go into game this should animate hopefully So the only other thing I need to do is I'm going to loop loop the animation. So that's the, probably the easiest way of getting an animation from Blender into CryEngine. Um, you need to do all, all the particular bits I've shown you, otherwise it tends not to work. This is about the fourth attempt I've managed to get working after about, of about 200 goes. Um, but if you do all this, you should get it working. And the beauty of this is you could create a nice little film as you walk through CryEngine with the beautiful scenery, creating all your separate little animations one after the other. So I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching.